everyone, this is Tim, uh, October 3rd, Saturday, the year 2020, here at Centennial Field in Coquitlam at the Athletics Track. Um, just want to say thank you to everyone for supporting me and my team. Max Power, over 9,000, uh, 57 laps on this thing. I should get ready. All right, um, as you can see, I'm all ready to go. Uh, thanks to those who helped us raise $2,000 on the team. It means I'm gonna, or no, $5,000. It means I'm gonna be riding the first 5K or 12 laps uh, just like this. Here we go. A few moments later. One lap down. 56 to go. My legs are burning. Two hours later. Checking in on lap 22 of 57. The time is about 12.05 p.m. Um, my legs are pretty sore, but I'm taking a break every five laps or so. Just to answer the question of why, Tim, are you doing this? Uh, one of the biggest personal reasons is that uh, in uh, the Bible, Deuteronomy 10, 18, 9, it says, The Lord defends the rights of orphans and widows. He cares for foreigners and gives them food and clothing. And you should also care for them. So I feel it's pretty direct. It's important to care for foreigners, for refugees, for people who are often forgotten. The poor, the widow. So I'm just doing my part. Hopefully you're motivated and encouraged to do the same, to remember, as you have done. Big thank you again for supporting me. And uh, yeah, 57 minus 21 laps equals whatever amount to go. So I'm going to be here all day. Three hours later. More moments later. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for supporting. Good job. Thanks, everyone. We live in a world where people shouldn't have to face persecution or experience war or violence. gifts and your actions in supporting my ride for Kin Price today. You're telling people that they're they're loved and they're valued. And that they're welcome in Canada. So thank you for supporting me today. Wow. Um, so what you don't see in that video is what happened to me in between the time from when I'm a goofy banana clown at the start, seven hours pass, and then I'm sobbing. And that is, I wanted to quit. Um, at lap 42, I was on the verge of quitting because my rear end was just bruised from the bike seat and my legs felt inflamed and sore. Um, and you can even see the, my legs almost give way at the end as I got off the bike. Uh, I even wanted the bike to break midway. I just wanted an excuse to stop because it felt like self-inflicted punishment at this point. However, it was because of those bodily pains that I began to understand the, re uh, the journey of a refugee a bit more because my physical suffering was just a hint of the suffering that many refugees experience from persecution, war, and violence. I remember remembered at the start of my ride when I had some friends and family cheering me on, uh, my cousin even walking beside me, they all came on their own, but their presence affirmed me in that what I'm doing, as silly as it, as it was, it mattered. And I thought about everyone who gave and sent messages because by doing that, you also said that my ride matters. And your donations say that the work Kinbrace does is important and necessary. And you're telling refugees that they're welcome to live in Canada. 
And finally, I thought about how it must feel after facing so much hate and rejection from countless other places that have refused them entry to when a refugee arrives in Canada. And they're not only welcomed, but they're also supported by organizations like Kinbrace and shown kindness by communities who don't want to see them displaced any longer. And so I cried for them. I cried at what it must feel like to experience relief after a long journey. But I also cried for those who are still displaced and on the run. And that's what I learned on my Ride for Refuge 2020 this year. Thanks for watching.